All right, for those interested in creating games, this is going to be a quick introductory video just introducing some of the hardware and some of the things that we're going to be using. So right here we have the Sega CD, which and I'm going to give you a quick overview about it and what we're going to do with it. And at the end I'll show you the software. But yep, this is a Sega CD. It was released I think in 1989 or 1990 in, in Japan and the United States. But yeah, 1990. Besides, that's beside the point. Anyway, it has a processor, 21 megahertz. It uses cartridges and CDs, which make it a pretty nice system to program for. But this is this whole setup right here is just a um, uh, a, a larger, more glorified version of this. Which um, that, by the way, costs about a hundred dollars on average. This costs 60 or less. I got my new, so it costs 60. And they, they really do the same thing. Just this, like this is the cheap version. It's um, it comes with games built in. And rather than putting the games on cartridges or CDs, you put them on SD cards. So that's the quick overview. Now we're going to go over to software. So this is what a basic development environment looks like on the Sega Genesis. As you can see here. I have all the graphics that I've made for the system in tile format, which are 8x8 blocks of graphics that can that are used to make what are called tile maps. And I have transferred the tile maps over to Game Boy form. And because this is what the program is actually for, Game Boy Map Builder. And I added them into the game and I'm making a map right now. It's gonna be the first map of the game and that's going to be an NPC. So here is where I do all the programming for the game. This right here is the block of title screen code so we can run it. And here's what the game would look like on a real system. It would say Crystal Core, the name of the game. And display this green grass tile. That's all I have it to I have it for programmed right now. And all that code took up 13 lines. So that's 13 lines of code that makes a title screen and a tile. But a completed game I also have here is called Elevation Invaders. So let's try to compile that one. This is what this one looks like. As you can see, there are this platforming, collision detection, sprites, more than one level. And there is music, but I'm not gonna play that right now. Maybe I'll show it to you guys later. But this one was originally intended for the Sega CD, but since I could not figure out a way to get the music to work, I decided to make my own engine, which I'll be showing you later in the tutorial series. But I'm gonna show you the penalty right now, in case you fall all the way down, you get sent back. So now I'm going to beat the game very quickly and give you a taste of what the credits look like. And that's the game. So expect more and I'll see you in the next video.